Shock is a life-threatening condition characterized by low blood perfusion and oxygen delivery to the cells of the body. Early recognition and appropriate intervention are imperative as mortality can exceed 50%. If you ever suspect shock, the first thing you should measure is the blood pressure. A mean arterial pressure of less than 65 millimeters of mercury or a systolic blood pressure of less than 90 millimeters of mercury is considered shock until proven otherwise. This measure changes a bit in children where the cutoff for systolic blood pressure becomes 70 plus age times 2. Optimizing therapy for a patient in shock involves determining and treating the underlying mechanism. There are generally four types of shock, cardiogenic, hypovolemic, distributive, and obstructive. Cardiogenic shock results from a poorly contracting heart due to an injury to the heart muscle or disorganized cardiac contractions. Additional treatments to keep in mind include medications, such as norepinephrine, which increases heart contractility and afterload while constricting blood vessels. Hypovolemic shock results from inadequate plasma volume, often due to dehydration or blood loss. The treatment involves replacement of the fluids lost, including blood, and stopping any ongoing fluid loss or bleeding, which could require urgent surgery. Distributive shock is a result of leaky capillaries that allow fluid to move into the extravascular space. Thus, the relative amount of blood left to perfuse the organs and cells is insufficient. The main cause of distributive shock is septic shock, caused by a severe infection. The treatment involves fluids to optimize intravascular volume and early broad-spectrum antibiotics. Obstructive shock is a result of external pressure constricting the heart and preventing it from filling properly, therefore reducing the amount of blood pumped out. The three main causes of obstructive shock are cardiac tamponade, tension pneumothorax, and massive pulmonary embolism. To properly treat this type of shock, the type of obstruction must be determined and removed. In summary, shock is a life-threatening condition that requires early intervention. The keys to the treatment of shock are early recognition and appropriate intervention with the mechanism of shock in mind.